That's what you have to expect. That's what you have to expect when somebody drops 51 points on you. That, 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 that's, that's why we lost. Damian Lillard dropped 51 points. I mean, they beat us in the fourth quarter by four points. We lose by three. We beat them in the third quarter. We beat them in the second quarter. We lose big in the first. This team blows my mind. They, they really do. 14 of 30 from three, which is actually pretty solid. 46%, I'll take that. But, I mean, the, the free throw differential, the missed free throws. I mean, we missed four free throws. That's the game. They only missed two. They shot 12 more than us. I couldn't tell you how many times it really did honestly feel like Damian Lillard got bailed out on some calls. I will say that he did get bailed out on a couple calls. He was 15 to 16 from the line. He almost shot as many free throws as our entire team. But he still dropped 51 points. And you had to expect that. He just blew the game yesterday. No Ben Simmons. Shake Milton is a eh, defender. Embiid goes out early. He has the paint wide open every time. Nobody's scoring back and forth with him. You have to expect that. Am I mad at the loss? Of course I am. I'm always mad when we lose. But we did show heart. We did show that we actually came to play. But we fell short. We came up short. The last possession, Josh Richardson was grabbed. Not that I'm making excuses, but he was grabbed on the jersey during his shot. But what are you going to do? Josh Richardson scores 34 points, 13 of 20 shooting. What more can you ask from a guy that has been decent all play all, all year? In the bubble, he has been mediocre. Today, he was not. Six assists. I mean, he turned the ball over three times, but that's what's going to happen when you're scoring every point. I mean, Tobias, 7 of 19. That's not good. Seven rebounds. That's not his average. That's not what he's been getting. Only 16 points in 32 minutes. And Beat again, got hurt, but he was one of six. Al Horford, 6 of 9, 15 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, but he had 4 turnovers and 5 personal fouls. I mean, there's just flaws in everybody's game. You're going to have that. You you see it. And that's why we lose these basketball games. We are now 3-2 and two in the bubble. And the both of the games that we lost, people scored 50 points on us. TJ Warren, 53, and now Damian Lillard, 51. I mean, nobody really had a solid game outside of Richardson other than Burks, who had 20. I mean, yeah, Horford, Tobias, Shake, they all scored over 10. Mike Scott had 9, which is good for him. But that's not going to win you games. With ben, I, I didn't have the chance to, to speak on Ben Simmons. I didn't have the time yesterday. I was at work. But... Ben Simmons is out indefinitely. I mean, the guards are going to get eaten alive. They're going to get killed. Who do, who do we play next? Because we, we play the Suns on Tuesday. They're 5-0 and in the bubble. Devin Booker's averaging almost 30. And he's a guard. Do I expect us to win this game? No. Do I expect Devin Booker to have a 50-point night? Wouldn't shock me. I definitely think he gets over his average. This team is frustrating. They truly are. This team is a truly frustrating team. I mean, it, 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 it's everything with this team. Embiid. Injured. Again. Simmons injured again. I mean, how many times are we ever going to have a, a playoff run with these two in it the whole time? 
I, I, is Embiid ever going to be healthy during the playoffs? I get it's it, it's August, but still. Like, this is ridiculous. Furcon, he had seven points. He was four or five on free throws. I mean, <sighs> Shake only played 24 minutes. I don't even know what was wrong with Shake. I, I, this team, man, they're not going to win. The team we currently have will not win a championship. And I don't want to watch if they won't win championships. What am I waiting for? What are we waiting for? What do we process for? Let's take a second and think about that. What did we tank for? Embiid and Simmons? Okay. But continuously messing up every other draft outside of those two is not getting the job done. You draft Furkan and Timothy Luwawu Cabarro over Pascal Siakam. You draft Michael Carter Williams and Nerlens Noel over Giannis and CJ McCollum. I I mean it's it's not like this is a new thing with the Sixers that we just can't draft. I mean look at it, Evan Turner over Boogie Cousins. I mean. It, it, it's every year. We seem to just not draft well. We don't have a good system of, of draftees. The only two superstars that we've had from the draft right now are Embiid and Simmons. Where's Fultz? Where's Michael Carter-Williams? Where's Dario? Where's Noel? Where's Okafor? Maybe if we had some depth... Maybe if we weren't struggling at the trade deadline to find some pieces to fit, we would be better. And I, I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. It's in the past. I know it is. But our past could have really been different if we drafted a couple key guys. Do I think we get Embiid and Simmons if we draft Giannis? No. Do I think we get Siakam or Tatum if we had the chance? No. But you could have drafted a little bit better. And it's coming back to bite you. Embiid and Simmons barely play together. He had five... I mean, come on. Why can't our superstars just stay healthy? Everybody else's can. Is there something wrong with the city of Philadelphia and where they just can't keep their stars healthy? I mean, Wentz is out every year. Embiid, like... This is just becoming an injury rant. We're not winning with this squad. And especially not with this coach. Brett Brown's terrible. How do you allow guards to constantly outplay you every single year? Lillard. Booker. I mean, it's every year these guys go off against us. Why? Why is that? Why can't we ever just have a solid defensive squad? Why can't we get shooters? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? Why is it always why? Why can't we just do and see what happens? No. No, it, it's never that. It's Ben Simmons is out. Joel Embiid is out. Jimmy Butler left. I, I, it's everything. And now it's coming back to bite us. Because now we are sitting here, 3-2, and two, when I said we shouldn't have even lost these two games. Why is it so that Damian Lillard and TJ Warren have now dropped 50 points against us? They're the only two people in the bubble that have dropped 50 points, and they both came against the Sixers. And Ben Simmons played in one of them. I expected Lillard to drop at least 35 this game, at least 40 points. 50? Really? You let him beat you. He scored 15 free throws. Stop fouling him. Matisse, score the ball if you're going to foul as much as you do. Come on, man. You, you turn the ball over like a madman anymore. I mean, you can't run a fast break. I that you're a rookie, Matisse, but come on, man. This team is just... It's so disappointing. At year after year. 
Sixers lose 124-121. Damian Lillard drops 51. It's every year. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.